March 13th, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, Numbers chapters 26 and 27 from the Old Testament. After the plague, the Lord said to Moses and to Eleazar, son of Aaron the priest, Take a census of the whole community of Israelites from 20 years old and upward by their clans, everyone who can serve in the army of Israel. So Moses and Eleazar the priest spoke with them in the plains of Moab by the Jordan River across from Jericho. They said, Number the people from 20 years old and upward, just as the Lord commanded Moses and the Israelites who went out from the land of Egypt. Reuben was the firstborn of Israel. The Reubenites from Hanok, the family of the Hanokites, from Palu, the family of the Palulites, from Hezron, the family of the Hezronites, from Carmi, the family of the Carmites. These were the families of the Reubenites, and those numbered of them were 43,730. Palu's descendant was Eliab. Eliab's descendants were Numiel, Dathan, and Abiram. It was Dathan and Abiram who as leaders of the community rebelled against Moses and Aaron with the followers of Korah when they rebelled against the Lord. The earth opened its mouth and swallowed them and Korah at the time that company died when the fire consumed 250 men. So they became a warning. But the descendants of Korah did not die. The Simeonites by their families, from Numiel, the family of the Numielites, from Jamin, the family of the Jamanites, from Jachin, the family of the Jachinites, from Zerah, the family of the Zeraites, and from Shal, the family of the Shalites. These were the families of the Simeonites, 22,200. The Gadites by their families, from Zephon, the family of the Zephonites, from Haggai, the family of the Haggites, from Shunai, the family of the Shunites, from Osni, the family of the Osnites, from Eri, the family of the Erites, from Arid, the family of the Aridites, and from Areli, the family of the Arelites. These were the families of the Gadites, according to those numbered of them, 40,500. The descendants of Judah were Er and Onan, but Er and Onan died in the land of Canaan. And the Judahites by their families were from Shelah, the family of the Shelahites, from Perez, the family of the Perezites, and from Zerah, the family of the Zerites. And the Perezites were from Hezron, the family of the Hezronites, from Hamel, the family of the Hamelites. These were the families of Judah, according to those numbered of them, 76,500. The Issacharites by their families, from Tola, the family of the Tolaites, from Pua, the family of the Puites, and from Jashub, the family of the Jashubites and from Shimron, the family of the Shimronites. These were the families of Issachar, according to those numbered of them, 64,300. The Zebulonites by their families, from Sired, the family of the Sardites, from Elon, the family of the Elonites, from Jaliel, the family of the Jaliites. These were the families of the Zebulonites, according to those numbered of them, 60,500. The descendants of Joseph by their families, Manasseh and Ephraim, the Manassehites from Makir, the family of the Makerites. Now Makir became the father of Gilead, from Gilead the family of the Gileadites. These were the Gileadites, from Aizer the family of the Aizerites, from Helic the family of the Helicites. From Aserel, the family of the Aserelites. From Shechem, the family of the Shechemites. From Shemida, the family of the Shemidaites. From Hefer, the family of the Heferites. Now Zelophehad, son of Hefer, had no sons, but only daughters, and the names of the daughters of Zelophehad were Mala, Noah, Hogla, Milka, 
and Tirzah. These were the families of Manasseh. Those numbered of them were 52,700. These are the Ephraimites by their families. From Shuthalah, the family of the Shuthalites. From Beker, the family of the Bekerites. From Tehan, the family of the Tehanites. Now these were the Shuthalites. From Aaron, the family of the Aaronites. These were the families of the Ephraimites, according to those numbered of them, 32,500. These were the descendants of Joseph by their families. The Benjaminites by their families, from Bela, the family of the Belaites, from Ashbel, the family of the Ashbelites, from Ahiram, the family of the Harimites, from Shufam, the family of the Shufamites, from Hufam, the family of the Hufamites. The descendants of Bela were Ard and Naaman, from Ard, the family of the Ardites, from Naaman, the family of the Naamanites. These are the Benjaminites, according to their families, and according to those numbered of them, 45,600. These are the Danites by their families, from Shuam, the family of the Shuamites. These were the families of Dan, according to their families. All the families of the Shuaites, according to those numbered of them, were 64,400. The Asherites by their families, from Imna, the family of the Imnanites, from Ishvi, the family of the Ishvites, from Beriah, the family of the Beriahites, from the Beriahites, from Heber, the family of the Heberites, from Malkiel, the family of the Malkielites. Now the name of the daughter of Asher was Sirah. These are the families of the Asherites, according to those numbered of them, 53,400. The Naphtalites by their families, from Jaziel, the family of the Jazielites, from Giunai, the family of the Giunites, from Jezer, the family of the Jezerites, from Shillam, the family of the Shillamites. These were the families of Naphtali, according to their families, and those numbered of them were 45,400. These were those numbered of the Israelites. 601,730. Then the Lord spoke to Moses, To these the land must be divided as an inheritance according to the number of the names. To a larger group you will give a larger inheritance, and to a smaller group you will give a smaller inheritance. To each one its inheritance must be given according to the number of people in it. The land must be divided by lot, and they will inherit in accordance with the names of their ancestral tribes. Their inheritance must be apportioned by lot among the larger and smaller groups. And these are the Levites who were numbered according to their families, from Gershon, the family of the Gershonites, of Kohath, the family of the Kohathites, from Mirai, the family of the Mirites. These are the families of the Levites the families of the Libnites, the family of the Hebronites, the family of the Malites, the family of the Mushites, the family of the Korahites. Kohath became the father of Amram. Now the name of Amram's wife was Jochebed, daughter of Levi, who was born to Levi in Egypt. And to Amram she born Aaron, Moses, and Miriam their sister. And to Aaron were born Nadab, and Abihu, Eleazar, and Ithamar. But Nadab and Abihu died when they offered strange fire before the Lord. Those of them who were numbered were 23,000, all males from a month old and upward, for they were not numbered among the Israelites. No inheritance was given to them among the Israelites. These are those who were numbered by Moses and Eleazar the priest, who numbered the Israelites in the plains of Moab along the Jordan River opposite Jericho. But there was not a man among these who had been among these numbered by Moses and Aaron the priest when they numbered the Israelites in the wilderness of Sinai. For the Lord had said of them, They will surely die in the wilderness. And there was not left a single man of them except Caleb, son of Jephaniah, and Joshua, son of Nun. Then the daughters of Zelophehad, son of Hefer, 
the son of Gilead, the son of Maker, the son of Manasseh, of the families of Manasseh, the son Joseph came forward. Now these are the names of his daughters, Mala, Noah, Hagla, Milka, and Tirzah. And they stood before Moses and Eleazar the priest and the leaders of the whole assembly at the entrance to the tent of meeting and said, Our father died in the wilderness. Although he was not part of the company of those that gathered themselves together against the Lord in the company of Korah, but he died for his own sin, and he had no sons. Why should the name of our father be lost from among his family because he had no son? Give us the possessions among the relatives of our father. So Moses brought their case before the Lord. The Lord said to Moses, The daughters of Zelophehad have a valid claim. You must indeed give them possession of an inheritance among their father's relatives, and you must transfer the inheritance of their father to them. And you must tell the Israelites, if a man dies and has no son, then you must transfer his inheritance to his daughter. And if he has no daughter, then you are to give his inheritance to his brothers. And if he has no brothers, then you are to give his inheritance to his father's brothers. And if his father has no brothers, then you are to give his inheritance to his relative nearest to him from his family, and he will possess it. This will be for the Israelites a legal requirement as the Lord commanded Moses. Then the Lord said to Moses, Go up this mountain of the Abiram range and see the land I have given to the Israelites. When you have seen it, you will be gathered to your ancestors, as Aaron your brother was gathered to his ancestors. For in the wilderness of Zin, when the community rebelled against me, you rebelled against my command to show me as holy before their eyes over the water, the water of Meribah and Kadesh in the wilderness of Zin. Then Moses spoke to the Lord. Let the Lord, the God of the spirits of all humankind, appoint a man over the community who will go out before them and who will come in before them and who will lead them out and who will bring them in so that the community of the Lord may not be like sheep that have no shepherd. The Lord replied to Moses, Take Joshua, son of Nun, a man in whom is such a spirit, and lay your hand on him. Set him before Eleazar the priest and before the whole community and commission him publicly. Then you must delegate some of your authority to him so that the whole community of the Israelites will be obedient. And he will stand before Eleazar the priest, who will seek counsel for him before the Lord by the decision of the Aram. At his command they will go out, and at his command they will come in, he and all the Israelites with him, the whole community. So Moses did as the Lord commanded him. He took Joshua and set him before Eleazar the priest and before the whole community. He laid his hands on him and commissioned him just as the Lord commanded by the authority of Moses. God, we're coming into another favorite part of my Bible with, with Joshua leading Israel. Um, in this section of the, of the Bible, um, reminds me a lot of business books, interestingly <laughs> enough. Uh, and we'll talk more about that when we get into Joshua, but how he goes about it in his instructions from you, uh, you could apply a lot in business. And I think today there's another application that we can obviously pay attention to in our own lives. The daughters of Zelopha had um, the man who had no sons who, who was killed in the Korah incident. They stand before Moses and all of Israel um, which even though it said in the in the census was a little bit under a million people uh, with women and children, it was definitely over a million people and and they claimed their inheritance very boldly. Women didn't have a lot of say back then. Uh, so for them to stand in front of a holy man like Moses in front of the entire assembly and say, we want what we believe is rightfully ours according to our family name was incredibly bold and they also had faith that the land they were about to claim would be theirs in the sense that you God were going to keep your covenant and allow them 
to move into this new land. So they have faith, they have boldness, they understand what is rightfully theirs, and they're asking for it. And I think that applies to our life greatly, God, that you have already offered us up an inheritance. It is already there waiting for every single person in this entire world. You have offered up peace through the forgiveness of our sins. You've offered up salvation. You've offered up eternal life with you. You offered up life as our inheritance, that we are royal heirs with your son. Kind of a crazy, awesome inheritance. But here's the amazing part. So many people don't take that inheritance. They don't boldly state, that is my inheritance and I'm going to claim it. I suspect in this situation, it could be out of fear. It took a lot for those women to stand in front and say, this is what we, what is due to us. I suspect some people believe that they don't deserve it, which is, I'm sure, why the daughter's said even though our father was killed in the Korah situation he was not one of the original sinners he he obviously died for some other sin he did but he wasn't one of those those people we need to to remember that we are your royal children that we have an inheritance that starts now the second that we agree to our inheritance and leads us straight through to our death here on earth so that we can have life eternally with you. God, if anybody is listening today who hasn't claimed their inheritance from you as your son and your daughters, I ask for you to just open up your arms to them today, which I know you're already there in front of them doing, and just welcome them into our family. Allow their heart to be open to what you have to show them. Help guide their steps as they take time to not only claim their inheritance, but to really work on who they're going to be in the body of Christ. I know, and I know you know, God, that it's not as easy as saying, yeah, I'm going to ask Jesus Christ into my heart and we're good to go. Uh, it isn't complete life change. It's a complete heart change. It is radically altering how you view everything and how you deal with everything. And what an incredible inheritance that is. Wow. God, thank you for being such an incredibly generous father to us. For giving up everything in your only son sacrificing him so that we could have everything god i just pray for everyone out there to not only hear about their inheritance but to boldly stand before the throne of god and kneel in humbleness Offering up all of their sins there for forgiveness. Asking you to change their heart, to change their lives, and to start the path of their inheritance today. What an amazing walk it truly is to be in your family, God. In your son's name we pray. Amen.